it's about time I made the info video for season six. I was gonna make it a couple weeks ago, couldn't find the time to do it, but now I have the time. So here is the season six info video for the season six Catch Draw Cup series. But I'm gonna be talking about in this video is schedule, points format, and I think that's all I'm gonna do, and a release date for the day 2500. Um, so let's get into the schedule. I'm just saying. Um, this will not be like season five. Season five um, had a big gap, and I'm not gonna have a big gap. Hopefully, in the season six, I might races. I'm just gonna say probably gonna come out once a month or every month and a half. So I'm just saying it's not gonna come out like every single week or couple weeks. So I'm just saying that I am a busy man. I still have a life, so I can't do that every single week. But let's get into the schedule right now. Here is the regular season schedule for the Season 6 Cash Drop Cup Series. Obviously, Race 1 is going to be the Daytona 500 down in Daytona Beach, Florida. Race 2 is going to be the Nashville Super, at Nashville Super Speedway down in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Race 3 is going to be Kansas at the Kansas Motor Speedway. It's going to be a great race. I'm excited for that. Race 3 and then Race 4, we go to the West Coast to go to Phoenix, Phoenix Raceway. And then at race five, the throwback race, and probably want to get going to be one of the best races. I'm just predicting in season number six, all the way in South Carolina from from Arizona to South Carolina, we have um, Darlington with the throwback race and the Lady in Black, the track too tough to tame. Then we have the first road course of the season, race six at Watkins Glen International Speedway. Originally supposed to be in the first couple races, but uh, we changed it for reasons. Race 7 is Bristol, the Bristol race, the last great Coliseum. That's going to be an incredible race. I'm so excited for that. Under the lights as well. And then race 8, it's become a tradition now that Talladega will be the regular season finale to go to the playoffs. Now we have the playoff schedule. And the first race of the round of 12 and the playoffs, Richmond Raceway for race number 9. And then race number 10 for the cutoff race of the round of 12, race number 10 at Atlanta Motor Speedway, the Super Speedway race. And then for the first race of round of 8, we have the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I think this is the first time ever that we are going to the, no, second time ever. We did it back in Season 2 for the first time. At the Indianapolis Oval. We did the Roval in Season 5. Larson won. But I'm excited for the Brickyard 400 of the Oval this year. And then obviously the cutoff race for the round of 8. The fan made. The fan favorite. Green Bay Raceway. Has so many crazy finishes. So many crazy races. Probably had the best race that's ever happened in the Cash Draw Cup Series. The uh, early, uh, late in Season 5. This penultimate race of season five, and then the championship, the Coca Cola 600, race 13, one of my, if not my favorite track, on any schedule in NASCAR. So excited for this! So that was the regular season and playoff schedule for the season six Cash Draw Cup Series season. So excited for this! Going to be one heck of a season and one heck of a series as well. So, now I'm going to show you the points system for this upcoming season. Here's the points format for the Season 6 Cash Draw Cup Series season. So, first place will get 50 points. Second place will get 40 points. And third place will get 30 points. And then fourth place will get 29, 5th, 28, 6th, 27, etc, etc. Then, the most laps led every single race is the 20 extra bonus points for every race and for the driver that leads the most laps now i didn't put on the screen because i just thought of it last minute but whenever the halfway bonus happens we put it like we started it a couple races ago in season five i think it was the start of the playoffs um at michigan that is the halfway bonus now whoever uh wins that will get an extra 15 points second place will get 10 third place gets seven Fourth place get will get four, and fifth place uh, will get one. We're only doing top five, and that's pretty scattered. But I'm really excited how the points format's gonna do. We didn't really have a ports, ports. We didn't really have a points format for any season. It was just like normal points, like 
Leader would get 45. Second place would get 39 and just go on from there. We didn't really have any, like, points format. So, really excited about this season. And here is a release date for the Daytona 500. Now, I'm not doing the duels because the duels are coming out in a couple of days, I think. Um, so, if they don't come out this Sunday, they will come out next Sunday. Because I'm going to try and upload every race um, on a Sunday every time. So, the Daytona 500 will be... I'm not doing that. Um, I'm not going to release... I'm not going to say a release. I'm just kidding. So, the Daytona 500 will come out September 15th of this year. Now, that is unless I get the NASMAR Watkins Glen race for this year. The guy who was supposed to do it dropped out, and I wanted to do it, and they haven't said who's going to do it yet. I really want to do it, but if I do do it, I'm going to have to post... Pwn Daytona 5, the Daytona 500. I'm fine with that in theory because what I'm going to do with the Daytona 500 is the reason I said September 15th is because I don't know how long it's going to take me to film this. It might take me a month and a half. It might take me three months. Heck, it might take me three weeks. It depends on motivation. Like sometimes I'm really motivated, sometimes I'm not. So, September 15th is the goal, but I might get it out sooner. I might get it out later. Who knows? So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. The duels will be out soon. See y'all later.